1,000 subscribers. We made it here. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Imel Dapel. <laughs> you stop. The thing is, I rarely like introduce myself on camera. I'm not like, oh, my name is Imel Dapel. Um, because I just act like people know who I am. <laughs> just like, oh, you know, you know me. You know me, I'm the one that eats things outside. <laughs> my name is Imel Bell. My last name is Bell. My first name is Imel I was born and raised in London. And then I migrated to the US of A's <laughs> when I was 17 for university and then I graduated university and then I moved to New York City whoop whoop and I live in Brooklyn bed -Stein. yeah that's my life story well that's a that's really a speck of it I'm so happy you're here please stay a little bit longer <laughs> Dreams come true. Let's dress. <laughs> wow, what happened to my boys? It is currently about five something, and I can't believe I'm up. At one point, I was really able to wake up at five with ease. Sometimes, yes, if I go to bed early, but nowadays, if I wake up at five, it's a bit more intentional in that I have set to do something and this rising i have set to go get some berries that are growing wild hopefully they are there but that's my intention Hello beautiful people, it is currently 6 in the morning and guess what I'm doing? I am <laughs> harvesting wild blackberries. This is all I've been able to gather so, so far and I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more in that there are a ton in this area but they're not ripe yet. So last week I was out of town the entire week and when I left or before I left I had come here to check on the blackberries <laughs> and I knew they were going to be like some were going to be ready the next day and I had major FOMO I was like oh no who's going to harvest them <laughs> that's my scarcity mindset I'm always working on it nature has always reminded me that it's so abundant you know like yeah those were ripe and probably t eaten the next day but look how many more are coming through and I think even in that it's just like nature has its stages Everything's not gonna be ripe at the same time, you know? And that, I believe, is very intentional. So everybody gets to eat, <laughs> really and truly. It also allows you to practice patience, knowing that you will be provided for, knowing that you don't have to take everything, you know? So, <laughs> even though I'm on this journey, I'm always learning and always figuring out things about myself that I need to work on. Hence my scarcity mindset. I'm always like, oh, someone's gonna take them all. And I'm like, relax, Imelda. And if someone takes them all, so what? As if there isn't a ton more coming through. Relax. Wild berries are actually way more high in nutrients and minerals than anything you would buy at the store. And that's just that. In harvesting the blackberries, it's not as though I'm just after the fruit. I'm actually after the leaves as well. They are highly medicinal, um, high in antioxidants. So making a tea from them would be very beneficial for your body. What a blessing it is that we are given leaves that are antioxidants. That literally slow down your body from decaying. Crazy, is it not? I think we're just so blessed, but yeah, I'm gonna Harvest some of my blackberry leaves. I usually tend to harvest the younger ones. <laughs> it's just me out here at six in the morning. Of course it is. Of course it is. Like, what? I'm not surprised. What a blessing it is to be alive and what a blessing it is to be in this garden. What I didn't mention is that I now have a key for the garden. Mr. Prince gave me a key. I'm so in gratitude. 
only five people actually have a key to this garden and they're all elders and I am in fact the youngest oh so cute wow <laughs> I think he also gave me a key because he got tired of coming out to open the door for me <laughs> either way I'm so grateful what a beautiful workout and now I'm harvesting what a beautiful life mm. love yours This is my harvest so far. We're gonna get some eggplants and what else? Cucumbers. Hi, people. We are by the eggplants. And let's pick one juicy one. I see a really juicy one. I actually just took my shoes off so I could decolonize my feet. Yeah, see? Ooh! <laughs> Freedom! Let's get this one right here. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Isn't that the juiciest eggplant you've ever seen? Don't lie. <laughs> it's the juiciest artistic eggplant I've ever seen. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, this is indeed my bedside Brooklyn life. It is. Wow. Give a thanks. Gratitude. We got two bitter melons. Oh my gosh, they're so bitter and used in Asian cuisine. I've tasted it. I'm going to try it again. It's really good to balance out your body, so I'm working on it. Honestly, no more excuses. Your body needs bitters in order for it to be balanced, you know? We consume too much, well, let me not talk about we. I consume too much sugar and I need to balance it out. It's time I take authority over my own health. Now, not you know 10 years from now or whatnot or when i get older but i feel like in my 20s is the perfect time to be balancing things oh such a nice day wow this actually is the perfect spot to read i might come and do this oh i got a spider on me <laughs> i might actually come here and read right here this is a perfect spot there's actually a peach tree right above me with peaches that would be ready but this year is not their year this year they're sick <laughs> trees go through their own seasons as well you know oh would you look at that <laughs> wait Okay, well, we've been blessed with a cucumber that actually just fell off the cucumber plant. <laughs> a little cucumber. Um, I'm going to eat this. The way I got bit in that garden is actually illegal. That's what happens when I don't put my mosquito repellent on. I make one, a natural one. And when I don't put it on, oh, best believe I'm getting attacked. But anyway... I'm not sad. I got my eggplant. <laughs> what should I make today? Hmm. Eggplant, tomatoes, cucumber, cucumber, spinach, shard, callaloo. What shall I make today? <laughs> it's a balance between um, wild food and cultivated food. So you need both, you know. The garden is a beautiful place as well as the wild. Nature is ever so abundant and gives us everything that we need. I'm just having a quick, 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 quick snack. <laughs> this little um, cucumber. Let me stop saying cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. Yeah, put it in your water. Who? I don't know if anyone ever saw that guy, but he used to make these like vegetable um, videos and. He would do like these little jingles. Am I saying it right? Like jingles? Whatever. He would do these little songs, you know, and he'd be like, Cucumba, you put it in your water. Good with electrolytes and mineral water. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Probably completely off. But anyway, that's what this reminded me of. And this little cucumber, cu wow. How you say cucumber? Cucumber. This little cucumber fell. And I'm just like, quick, 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 quick snack. This actually is so juicy. 
I'm not exaggerating. This tastes like candy, you know? Mm. Woo. Okay, so what you guys didn't see is that I just got back into town. I went to go see my mum, dad, brother, sister and spend time with them. And then I came back, I hit the ground running the same morning I flew in. <laughs> I honestly feel like in this present moment, um, I have never been so self-aware. But I don't even mean in one category of my life. I mean every single category I can see and take account for the things that I'm doing. And that is overwhelming in that, okay, now that I know, how do I change? I realise that I'm not a holistic surrender <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but I, I realise I'm not, holistically, I'm, I don't surrender holistically. Like, in every single aspect of my life, I don't surrender. I may surrender a couple things, but not everything. So I'm working on it. Just finished therapy, and, oh, that was, wow. I'm actually about to go meet up with a friend. We were supposed to go to Prospect Park, and just catch up, chat, walk around, yeah be in communion with the plants but the way it just rained we decided to pivot and we're gonna go to brooklyn tea yeah we're gonna go to brooklyn tea and get some tea that actually sounds so beautiful okay so one thing about me is that i'm always late and in this new season of my life i'm working on timing if i say i'm gonna be there at four i want to be there at four on the dots yeah, right now I'm just getting ready to go meet my friend. I'm ready. <laughs> I just really like showing off my abs. Because who knows if they'll be here forever, really and truly. I used to have an ex. <laughs> I used to have an ex, he's still my ex. <laughs> um, I have this ex here yeah, where he never wears a shirt in the summertime, never. And that used to irk me. And low-key, I feel like I do the same thing. But it's like, you know, a little shirt. I wear a little shirt, but not like, no shirt. Anyway, let's go, because this is how, this is why I'm just late, you know, when I'm trying to work on my time and be impeccable with my timing. Let's go. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Navigating life right. in these Brooklyn streets. Honestly. Yeah. What's one thing you're grateful for in this hour? <laughs> in this hour? Yeah. Oh, that's so great. One thing? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I know. One thing? Uh, I'm grateful to be spending time in in community yeah. and with and like cultivating the, the kinship yeah. of, of the people that I have connections with. I love it. Yeah. What about Aww. you? Same question. Same question, oh, same bye question. Guys. I'm joking. What's <laughs> 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 same, same question, same question. What about you? Um, I'm grateful to be challenging my comfort zone and honoring my word and sticking to my commitment. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and really just like being open to what comes from it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. That resonates. Yeah. Doing what we are meant to be doing for our own success. Okay? Um. Okay, guys, so I'm about to go to bed. But before I go to bed, I'm gonna make my overnight oats with the berries that I foraged. I did indeed.
forage some wild berries. I do indeed forage all over New York. I am very specific though, I do want to <laughs> make that um, statement in that, yes, New York is dirty, yeah? But there are certain places where it's clean. <laughs> and that's just everywhere in the world. Obviously, I'm not picking up stuff from like that sidewalk where the cat, the dog, and the human pees and poops. I'm not doing that, you know? Yeah, I go to specific places. And I would honestly list them out here, but I don't want them to come get me. <laughs> I don't, I figured I cracked the code and I will help you guys crack it too. Let's make my overnight oats with the berries that I foraged this morning. I already washed them. Um, I soaked them in apple cider vinegar and baking soda. Mm. Okay, so we got the oats, oat milk. Sorry guys, I do not really measure like that, I'm not gonna lie, like, I really don't. I'm not even gonna start pretending now for the camera, nope. Me and my wool, get used to it. Me and my wool, get used to it. Me and my wool, get used to it. <laughs> okay, so, we're gonna add some Jimson powder. We're gonna add some chaga mushroom, I really like it. This is another mushroom that I can't recall because all the labeling is gone, but I think it's like seven different mushrooms. I just love my mushrooms. Um, yeah, put some in there. We're making an intellectual, <laughs> I'm gonna call this intellectual third eye overnight oats. Is there anything else? Oh, I got some vitamin C. Add that in there. And I'm gonna add some, oh, I'm gonna add some date syrup. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to climb. Okay, let's do this. Oh gosh. Can I tell you guys a fact? A fun fact? It's not really fun, but since I moved into this apartment, I have not used this microwave and I don't believe I've opened it. I'm low key. <gasps> Ew. Yeah, I definitely have never opened it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but that was just scary. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that in there. Okay, and then we're going to put the berries in. Alright, so this is what it's looking like. Shape. Today we are in the pond and we are removing algae. Oh, look at that. Woo! <laughs> these juicy elderberries wow oh why would I go to the store and they're free outside impeccable I'm just so grateful gonna make some good elderberry syrup I want to experiment with something else I want to well I've never made syrup so that's only my first time I've only dehydrated them and I'm gonna see what else I want to do with the elderberries because elderberry season just started and I am going elderberry crazy this year this is my playground, for real. <laughs> Outside is my playground. Ah, not me treating 1K like it's 100K because it is. You know how long I've been waiting for 1K? Bro. 1K, 1K. Oh, my friend got me this 1K balloon to celebrate my achievement of 1,000 subscribers. Doing it my way. You know, I don't follow no trends. <sighs> I'm just grateful, honestly. It's all about the journey, celebrating the journey. This is not my final destination, of course, but it is a milestone, and I'm really grateful. Now, 100K, come on! Woo! 1K, baby! Do a spin. 1K, 1 million next! <laughs> spin. Bro. <gasps> oh my gosh! No! <laughs> That's because one million is next. 
<laughs> Did you see that, guys? It's gone. The one left. The one ran away. That's because we're big. We're, my mates were bigger and better. I swear, every single thing that's happened this year, I just be surrendering. What am I supposed to do? Roll on the floor and cry and die? No. Yo. We continue. My friend got me a 1K, but the one decided to fly away. But I also believe that 1K is finished now. It's on to the next. 100K, let's go. Uh, my friend just bought me. <laughs> you saw how the balloon flew away. <laughs> said goodbye my friend just bought me a new one that is so nice but this one i have to blow my <laughs> mouth <laughs> i have to blow my mouth we're trying to hold it together but this one and the k are not from the same place but yeah i'm so grateful thank you ebony for going and getting another one that's a that's the nicest thing ever honestly we are currently celebrating with a celebratory dinner but yeah, I'm so grateful. 1K, we did it. Me and my 1K. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day it was. Got elderberries, got chokeberries, some black walnuts. I just got a free shot. We both got free shots. Well, I say I. <laughs> we both got free shots for my 1K on YouTube. And you know I don't be drinking like that, but this is the last day. This is <laughs> <laughs> I know you're yeah. better than you was. And it all honest. Wow. I'm how sorry, was you I? Could cut that out. No, no, I'm not. How was I? No, but you were struggling. Like not struggling, but like you were having drinks every day, and you had to stop. When was I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At one point, me? at one During point, yeah. Day, no, actually, at one point, yourself. yeah. <laughs> at one point, I was a wine. Um, how you day say that? Drinker. A wine day drinker, like I would. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can drink it early I, I would pour a glass of wine and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna do my work." <laughs> and next thing you know, I'm in the bed. I'm sleeping. I'm knocked out. You know, yeah. so that's no longer my reality. I barely drink anymore, really. Um, so cheers. <laughs> It kind of tastes like sour sauce. Let me stop. Okay, 1K. Yay, make your wish. 100, I mean, wow. <laughs> it looks like 100K. 1,000 subscribers. Woo! Did you make a wish? <laughs> it's 100,000 more. <laughs> Don't tell us. Oh. <laughs> saw some elderberries literally like two blocks away that are ready to be harvested and no one has harvested them i'm gonna go do the job by the elderberries look how <laughs> i'm about to go ham <laughs> and they're just hanging you are my sunshine you are my sunshine you are my sunshine it's worth it it's so worth it you know how much these costs in the store and for me to just be able to find them and dehydrate them and know how to prepare them is an impeccable, liberating <sighs> practice. This is true sustainability, honestly. Mm. <laughs> Elderberries, it's that season. We've got to prepare our bodies for winter. Nature gives us everything we need and the time is now. I didn't mention is that every other aspect of the elderberry tree is actually toxic even the berry if it's not prepared properly so eating toxic doesn't mean poisonous so if you eat a couple you're not gonna die <laughs> this new season of my life I'm working on getting out of my comfort zone in every single area of my life one being Instagram even though I, I don't really care about Instagram that much when I feel the urge to post something and I don't I question why and then I do it right so yes not yesterday but whatever day it was um, yesterday yeah yesterday I posted a story um, just celebrating my 1k like 1k subscribers on youtube and just the journey because everybody's journey is different some people it's the next day that they get 1k some people it takes eons and for me it honestly took a long time um but in all honesty i don't even count 
the previous years because I was like not consistent and whatnot. I'm taking account from December of 2023 to right now in this present moment and I'm just like okay I was adamant about posting once a week although there were a couple times where I missed and at one point I missed like three weeks in a row because I was in Jamaica and all this other stuff I mean excuses of course but at the same time um other than that I was consistent right and I just wanted to celebrate you know but I woke up this morning and I was really annoyed at my wedding <laughs> I said what did I say and I think I was just in a rush but even in being in a rush it also tells you about yourself and I think I said one of the hardest things has been building an audience on YouTube and that kind of made me question my intention behind even doing YouTube and I really had to sit with it in meditation this morning like Imelda what's your purpose in regards to YouTube like are you building a audience or a community a community of course like I don't want people just watching me I want people to live with me I mean not live with me in my house like no <laughs> Any person I want to live in my house with me is my partner, my future partner, but yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, I want people to live with me, meaning I want people, if you see that, if you see something that I do that inspires you, I want you to now go ahead and do it. Like, don't make any excuses, find a way to make that your reality as well. And I'm just praying that in you watching my videos, you are inspired to tap in to the aspects of yourself that you see within me, you know? I don't want an audience. I want a community of people who are on the same frequency and just want to be free, especially as black people. Like, I want black people to know that there is peace. There is a deeper connection. That's my reflection. And with that, I just want to tell you guys, have a beautiful, abundant week, and I will see you next week. I'm so grateful. I don't even know where this journey is going to take me, but I'm here for the ride, you know? Like, I'm committed. Commitment is important. Commitment really gets you to where you want to be, and I am committed. <sighs> All right, well, bye, guys! <laughs>